take over. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Right back to Hubbard. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll drop to throw. And Thomas has it. A gain of eight there on the play. And that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short to give to the tight end. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hubbard. And he's going to be taken down at the 28 yard line. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Back to throw here. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. On play action, they'll throw. That's going to be caught. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. D.J. Moore from 21 yards away. And the Panthers are on the board here first in the season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We, we call that. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. On the give, this is Hubbard. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A first red zone chance of the new season now as they come up first and goal. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard taking it in from seven yards away. The Panthers 5-1 made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds that we were going to be successful in this one. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Shaquille Barrett buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a three-ball situation coming up. He'll drop to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. 
On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Take it in at the 22. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Second and three. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Another completion there. And what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And of course, how open is he to learning? And of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? Now the Panthers gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And he'll go right back to Thomas, complete again. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. It's a quarterback sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. It's their quarterback making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle complete. It's more. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the handoff, it's Hubbard. And a solid run down inside the 30. 69 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take The Panthers out there and ready to begin hey, their next ready? drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? And they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? A solid stiff arm. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Okay. 
Second and 11. Connection made with Chennault. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League. Back now in Tampa. Ready up. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he's got the first down yardage as he... Now a run with Hubbard. And some room to work. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Looking to throw. He gets it to Thomas. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Need to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take it look like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers are closing. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll give this to Hubbard running right. Down to about the 45. And what are they starting thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll run with Hubbard. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Gonzalez's kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to... a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead.
And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Carolina, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Chicago 